Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here. The official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 220. Page 220, question number 12. Question number 12. It's a percentage problem and we've been doing percentage problems since day number 84 and we're going to go all the way up to 93 those 10 days from day 84 to 93 if, if, you're, if you're one of those people who needs help, uh, particular help with the percentage problems then these, these 10 days you'll find useful let's take a look at it, number 12 question number 12 on page number 220 make sure that the book is in front of you read the problem with me it says a particular stock is valued at $40 per share if the value is if the value increases by 20 percent and then decreases by 25 percent all right so initially it begins with forty dollars then we are told that uh, then it goes up then it goes up by 20 percent well here's your forty dollars four 10% of 40 is 4. 4 represents 10%. So if you add on the 10%, 10% plus 10% is, is 20% and it increases by 20%. So it goes up to 48. Then we are told that it goes down by 25%. Then it goes down by 25%. Well, 25% of 48 is what we are trying to figure out. 25% is same as one quarter. One quarter, one quarter of 48 is 12. And if you don't know it, just do it out here, divide by 4. If you divide by 4, you figure out the quarter of it, and a quarter of anything is 25%. How many 4's in a 4? There are 1 4 in a 4. How many 4's in an 8? There are 2 of them. So it decreases by 12, and therefore our final amount is $36. So it ends up at $36. First it goes up by 20%. First it goes up by 20%. Then we figured it out by doing taking 10% and 10%. 4 is the 10%, 10 of 40 is 4. And another 10% of 40 is another 4. So 4 plus 4 plus 40 is 48. And this represents this represents 120% of 48. This was our original amount. And then it goes down. This new amount goes down by 25%. So this 12 is actually one quarter of 48. That's it. So we end up with $36. That's all. Let's do one more. We are done with this one. We are done with this one. The next problem that I'm going to put on the blackboard is not in the book. It is a bonus question. Seventy five per cent of forty four is same as thirty per cent of what? The most important thing is to be able to figure out how to set this equation up properly. That is the most important step, that is the most crucial step. If your equation is not correct, then the rest, no matter how good you are at solving the equation, is worthless. You must know how to solve, how to set up the equation. And here is what we learned on the previous days. This is what we learned. Percent means percent means over 100 or out of 100. That's what percent means. Per percent literally means per. 100 per 100 that's what percent means so wherever we see the word percent that means over 100 so if it says 5% if it says 5% that means 5 over 100 if it says 10% 10% means 10 over 100 if it says 87% 87% is 87 over 100 and so on and so forth is means is 
means equal wherever we see the word what there is our unknown and usually traditionally unknown is represented with an x letter x you can use one you can use y if you want uh, if you wish or uh, knock yourself out i don't care but traditionally we use x so let's do it here we're going to translate everything here word by word until we have a, until a, an, an equation emerges automatically and once we have the equation we just solve it that's all 75% means over 100 oh we left out off off means multiply or times the word off means multiply 75 75 percent means over 100 off means times 44 is means equal is same as is same as that's your equal sign 30 percent means over 100 off means times this is your off of what? That's your x. Very good. There is our equation. Once we have the equation, the rest is very straightforward, very simple. We're just going to solve for x and that's all there is. Multiply both sides by 100. Multiply both sides of the equation by 100. If you multiply both sides of the equation 100, we can knock out this 100 and that 100. And, you, and we are left with and we are left with 30 times x. 30 x equals 75 times 44. I know, I know that I know that 30, 30 times x is on the right hand side, but I prefer to put my unknown on the left hand side. It's, that's just a norm, that's just a tradition. So let's just bring this thing on the left hand side, put this on the right hand side. Divide both sides by 30. If we divide both sides by 30, the whole purpose of dividing both sides by 30 is so that we can get rid of this coefficient here and we are left with just 1x. And now all we have to do is simplify. So let's do it then. How many Let's see, what can we do here? Let's do by 5. How many 5's in a 30? There are 6 5's in a 30. How many 5's in a 75? 7 has, 7 has 1 5. The remaining 2 goes and joins this guy, becomes 25. How many 5's in a 25? There are 5, 25, 5 and 25. So that takes care of that part. Let's go one more round with 3, shall we? Let's go one more round with 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. Let's go one more round with 44. Divide into 44, we end up with 22. So we end up with... 5 times 22. That's our answer. Our final answer is 5 times 22. I don't know how much 5 times 22 is, but I know 5 times 20 is 100, and 2 times 5 is 10, so it's 110. x equals x equals 110. I'm going to do I'm going to do it one more time. Whatever that we did here, I'm going to do it one more time so that it's not crowded. Let's do it here one more time on the bottom x equals 75 times 44 times over 30. Now there is no right sequence, there is, there is no right or wrong sequence, you can do it any way you like it. So let's do it. Let's, I'm going to do it a different way now. Okay, I'm going to do it in a different way on purpose. Let's divide top and bottom by 2. We divide top and bottom by 2, 42 becomes 22, 44 becomes 22, this becomes 15. Let's divide top and bottom by 15. How many 15s in 75? 75 is half of 150. 150 has 10 fifteens, therefore 75 will have 5 fifteens. Well, you see, 5 times 22, 5 times 22, which is 110. Our final answer is 110. Now, all we have to do is verify our answer, make sure our answer is correct. So we're going to quickly verify our answer. I need the room for verification, so I need to erase stuff. Where should we verify it? I can't erase any of that because this is important stuff. What should we verify it? Let's do it here. I'm going to erase this bottom part. So what we are claiming is, here's what we are claiming, watch here. What we are claiming is that our, we were solving for x and we just did it. Our x equals 5 times 22. Our x equals 110. So if you were to go back here, 75% of 44 is same as 30% of what? This what part is what we are claiming to be 100. We are claiming, what we are claiming is that 75% of 44 is same as 30% of 110. Let's find out, shall we? Let's find out if that in fact is true. 75% of 44 
75 percent of 44 is same as three quarter of 44. You see, off means times. 75 percent means three quarter. Three quarter of 44. If you divide top and bottom by four, it's 33, which makes sense. Three quarter of 44 is 33 because a quarter of 44 is 11. Four 11s are 44. So now what we're claiming is that, what we're claiming is that 33, this part in the box, 33 is same as 30% of 110. Let's find out what 30% of 110 is, shall we? We know that 10%, 10% of 110, 10% of 110 is 11. If 10% of 110 is 11, therefore, then 30% of 110 must be 3 times as much or 3 times 11 which is our 33 voila so it does work out it does make sense let's do one more shall we want to do one more let's do one more that's it we're done with all of this thing here this was the verification part don't confuse the two here this part was the verification part at the bottom that you see here so we found out that 3 quarter, we found out that 3 quarter of 44 is 33 and we're saying that 33, this 3 quarter of 44 which is 33, we're claiming that it is same as 30% of 110. We know that 10%, 10% of 110 is 11, therefore 30% of 110 must be 3 times 11 which of course is 33. Let's do the next one. Tell you what, next, uh, next one after I write the problem, why don't you solve it yourself? Pause the video and solve it yourself and then resume it and then compare the work, shall we? That, I think you'll get more out of it. That way. 40% of 30% of Because you know people these days, uh, they, well, they say, well, why should I worry about any of this thing? We, we, have, we have a calculator on the exam. I'm just going to use my calculator. You have to know how to set up the equation. Otherwise, uh, otherwise the rest is useless. It's worthless. Setting up the equation is very important. So we're going to use our dictionary here. Our dictionary only has four words. We're going to use this dictionary to translate this sentence from English language into mathematical language, into mathematical equation. Word by word, we're not going to skip any word. Every word we're going to translate. So here we go. 40, 40, percent means, percent means, over 100, out of 100. 40, out of 100. Off means times. Off means times. Right here. Off means multiply or times. 30, here we go. This is 30. 30, percent means over 100. Off means times. There you go again. Off means times. What is what we replace by x? That's our unknown. Is means equals. Is means equal. Well, that's it. That's it. That was the biggest hurdle. The biggest hurdle is making sure that we come up with the right equation. Once you have the right equation, the rest is downhill. The rest is downhill. So let's, let's, let's take care of it, shall we? Okay, let's get going then. I see, I see zero here. I see zero at the bottom. Let's just divide top and bottom by ten. So that get, takes care of that part. Let's divide top and bottom by ten one more time. So we get rid of this zero and that zero. Now multiply by one hundred both sides. Multiply both sides by one hundred. So I can knock out this one hundred with that one hundred. And here we are left with. Here we are left with four times three, times x. 4 times 3 times x equals 36 times 100. Let's divide both sides by 12. If you divide both sides by 12, we can knock out 4 times 3. And here's our x. Our x equals 36, 36 times 100 over 12. How many 12s in 36? 36 has 3 12s. So let's divide top and bottom by 12. Voila. Our final answer is 3 times 100. 3 times 100 is 300. So what we're claiming is that 
x equals 300. That's what we are claiming. In other words, if we were to go back to our original question and replace x, the watt part, with 300, it better make sense. So here's the watt part. It says 40% of 30% of, of 300 is 36. And this is no longer this is no longer a question mark. This is a statement. We're going to verify it. We're going to make sure that it makes sense. We're going to verify it, shall we? Let's, let's verify it. I need the room for verification, so I'm going to erase this bottom part here. Let's verify it here. So it equals 300. The first part is 30% of 30% of 300. 30% of 300. 30% of 300. Well, we know that 10% of 300. 10% of 300 is 30. Therefore, 30%, which is 3 times the amount, must be 90. Multiply both sides by 3. It's 90. So we now we know what 30% of 300 is, which is 90. So we're going to replace this, this part here. So now, this entire part, 30% of 300, 30% of 300, this entire box equals 90. What is 40% of 90? You see, we just found out, we just found out that 30% of 300, 30% of 300 is 90. 10% of 300 is 30, and therefore 30% would be three times as much. So this entire big box that you see there is 90. All you have to figure out, all you have to make sure is that 40% of 90 equals what, what it says it does. Let's find out. Again, we know, we know that 10% 10 of 90 equals 9. Well, if 10% of 90 equals 9, then that implies that 4 times 10% must equal, must equal 4 times 9. If 10% if 10% of something, if 10% of 90 is 9, then 40%, which is 4 times the amount, must be 4 times 9. And 4 times 9 is exactly what we are claiming here at 36. Voila. That's it. So it does make sense. We verified it, and it makes sense. That's all. That's it. We are done. Let's see, what do I have for tomorrow? Tomorrow we are going to do a few more percentage problems, as you can see clearly on the blackboard. I intend to go for two more days. 93 is going to be last day. Uh, that will give us an even 10 days of percentage problem. So I will see you tomorrow, okay? Uh, we'll do some more percentage problems. Bye now.